Welcome to episode 16 of my Building the Black Pearl. As you can see, I've made progress on electrical work, cannons. So let me show you a couple close-ups and then go into detail on some of the challenges that I ran into in getting to this point. I have begun putting some of the smaller items on the ship. I still have a ways to go. Uh, the anchors I've not really messed with. I've just got them partially in place. I did go ahead and replace the roping in the front and used a smaller gauge. I did get the new end. I'll show you that here in just a second. But I do like how I can shape them so that it looks like they're drooping a little bit on their own from the weight of the rope itself. Here's a, a small bucket. Three of them come with the kit. The handle is not included. I just used a very small piece of copper. There are two large barrels. Here's another one of the small buckets. There's no information in the instructions where to put the barrels or the buckets, so you can just decide where you'd like to have them. I did replace this rope with a smaller rope. This, again, is that tarred twine that I uh, purchased separate from the model. The cannon racks do not come. I designed that myself. Lifeboats complete and in place. There are three small barrels and I've connected them all together with a copper strap and that's just a real small copper wire that I tapped with a hammer to make it flat. Here's a third bucket right back in there. And going to the upper deck I've put the cabinetry in place, the wheel, and the bell. And as I've already said, I have the lights in place, still have to finish the covering for the wiring. Got most of the cannon doors in place. I have the other side to do and one more on this side to finish. After making the segment, I decided to make a couple improvements and basically it's on the barrels and I just wrapped a piece of copper around it. I used real thin copper wire and then I just take a hammer and flatten it out a little bit by pounding on it. So even though that's subtle, I like the look better. I also have darkened all the barrels a little more and I do that by, I'll, I guess, burnishing it. I take a, a propane torch and just almost catch it on fire, but not quite. That seems to work better than the stain. For some reason, these are like a, a polished wood or um, whatever the wood is. It won't absorb the stain very well. But taking the torch to it works pretty well. Then once I get the wire in place and twist it, I just snip it off right at the base. And those twist areas will be towards the back so they won't show. I also burnished the small barrels and made a platform for them and then did a rope crisscross over the top. As far as the cannons go, I wanted to have some cannonballs and over a period of time I've purchased various sizes of pull chains. So recently I went to Hobby Lobby, took one of the barrels with me and found this in their jewelry department and it just fits right inside the cannon. So that's the perfect size. And I decided to make a cannonball rack. So here's an example of one of the finished racks. The base, I ended up using both my miniature table saw and then I also have a band saw that I cut those to size. So that I'll leave up your own discretion on how you're going to do that. And then, I put a mark right here and that's where the first drill hole goes. So let me show you a sample. So I set my drill press so it can only go so deep and then it stops so it doesn't go all the way through. Clip off five of the what are going to be cannonballs and there's a little one on it, a little string it sticks out. So I'll grab that, turn that off as best I can. 
So then I'll put a drop of super glue in the first, sometimes the middle, and the last. And I'll place that in the hole, stretch it out all the way to the first hole. And there is my cannon rack. So here's the finished series or set. And I have more than enough to put in all the locations. So let me put these in place and show you what it'll look like. Not glued in place because I haven't really determined for sure exactly where I want them, but it gives you an idea what that's going to look like. These will be the hatch covers for the cannon uh, windows. I'm doing a little extra. Instead of just having that sit there even with a hinge on it, I made an extra piece you can see on the back that would actually fit into the window and hold it. And then what I'm going to do, or I've done, I don't know if you can see, I've put two small holes there. I've attached some rings and then I'm going to attach some rope between that and a pull string so that you could from so that from inside the ship you could open up the cannon port. You can see by my putting that little block on the back, these actually could be functional, where that does fit right into that uh, opening for the cannon. I've been working on these gun ports and the coverings, and on the instructions it gives you a little hint of how you should make them. It shows the door closed and then I think what you do is is you force it open a little bit to get that final bend. So let me show you the bends that I made to get these in this position. First step I did and disregard these eye bolts. That's something I'm doing on my own. It's not in the instructions. But I've glued the hinges on the front of the gun port. The next step is to bend it to the shape of the door that came with it. Now again, I added this piece on the back. You don't want to go back that far. You want to be flush with the actual gun port cover. And you're going to curve there. I put a little super glue there. I've let that dry. And now I've bent that back up. So this, in essence, will attach to the side of the ship. I'll put a small nail in each one of those, in addition to probably a, a drop of uh, glue. And then carefully bend that hinge so that the door is open. Hope that is clear. I'll show it on the ship when it's done. As I'm working on these patches for the cannon bay or cannon opening. I get to the very last one here and I notice, hmm, there's no support for the cannon. You'll see in this one, you can see in the background where this little piece goes right in that hole to support the cannon. I don't have one in here. I must have forgotten to put it in. That's a little tricky. So here's the solution I came up with. Way deep inside that hole is the center keel or the center board. Just happened to have a very long drill bit. Way in there you can see I drilled a hole. I took a dowel rod, tapered it, drilled a hole in the end, inserted the cannon barrel, and now I can insert that in here it is inserted in place, got it pretty close to the correct uh, amount that's sticking out of the cannon port. So if you run into the same problem that it can be solved, the mark of a craftsman is his ability to cover up his mistakes. At least that's my philosophy. Thanks to viewer Daryl, he noticed that I was having trouble gluing metal to wood and informed me that uh, CA glue or super glue 
is brittle and the metal can't absorb it so it can pop off. That's the problem I was having with some of the hinges on the uh, cannon port windows or doors, whatever you want to call them. So I did some research. Gorilla Glue makes a version that is clear and it doesn't foam. Some of the versions when you apply the glue it can expand three times the amount that you put on and I did not want that. This does not expand but when you combine it with the two with metal and wood you put a little bit of water on the surface of the one of the two um, items. So I'm putting a little water on the wood so inside where the cannon goes I just dab a q-tip and some water and then I just dab it in that hole put a little bit of this Gorilla Glue on that put it in the hole twist it around a little bit I kind of hold it in place lightly tap it with this small hammer and that centers it right where it needs to be and my last cannon is the one that I made the error on So I have cannons in on one side, I have all the doors in place, I've got a couple more cannon doors to do right here. So I'll get that done off camera and work on the other side off camera as well. When it comes to the back lanterns, I'm not doing anything real fancy. Basically I've got these little tabs. These were just dowel rods that I stained. I drilled two holes through it for the wires for the lamps. So the lamps will slip on like that. And then I just drill more holes down in at a slight angle to get to my power source. Then to cover the wires, I've just made a little black walnut cover. Put a couple slats so there's a little space. And that's going to go right there, cover my wiring, and then I'll probably cover this with some planking. I'm interrupting this segment because I made an error that I've had to correct. I did not allow enough space for the King Neptune statues to be placed between the lanterns. After you install the center lantern, the two King Neptune statues with the fish on each side need to be placed on and then the outside lanterns if you can see I recessed it into that piece of wood there and on the outside I have filed off some of the underside of the wave that goes in front of the fish so that I can get those lanterns in there they're still going to be tight and they're going to be at quite an angle but it's going to work out okay I finished putting all the appointments on the back of the ship, the lanterns are in place, the two King Neptunes are in place, and all the lighting is in place and working. Give you an idea of the view from different angles here. Side view. And I intentionally made the, uh, the candles in the windows not centered on the window. I didn't want to see the light uh, bulb itself I wanted to see the flicker so I don't know if that's a good idea or not but that was my choice then you can see him as I uh, go around to the other side so it just depends on the angle you're at as to what you'll actually see as far as the lamps themselves this concludes episode 16 of my building the black pearl golden version for 2021 Happy with the progress I've made. Happy with the way she's starting to look. I appreciate some of the help that viewers have given me because I'm actually still a beginner, but I'm getting better and better with each build that I make. As always, thanks for watching.